Hello, I'm really excited to show you how to use Terraform for Cisco ACI. Terraform is an infrastructure as code tool that is typically used to provision infrastructure with cloud service providers like AWS, Azure, Google Cloud, etc. And it works with a large number of other vendors as well. There's also Terraform plugins for Cisco ACI. Terraform has some similarities to Ansible. Ansible is for configuration management. Terraform is for primarily for infrastructure as code. Both can be used to provision objects and configuration in ACI, and both have their strengths and weaknesses. Uh, ACI can also be configured using obviously the GUI, the CLI, but also the SDK and API uh, through other applications and other tools. Uh, so as a first step, you need to install Terraform. There's lots of really great videos on how to do that already. So you just search installation process for your platform, whatever you're using. In my case, I'm using Windows. And it just literally takes a few minutes. So compared to Ansible, which requires Linux or Mac, to install, uh, you don't need uh, Linux or Mac for Terraform, which works on Linux, Mac, and Windows natively. Uh, the second step is downloading the configuration files. And so they're called the TF files, Terraform files. And in my case, uh, we're going to provision a tenant, an application profile, and three EPGs. And so I have these two files here, main.tf and variables.tf, in this directory on my GitHub account, which will be linked in the video, which you can download to a directory and follow the steps that I'm going to take. Next, we'll review the TF files. So the TF files look like this. Similar to Ansible, they are fairly human readable and you can tell what is being done in the configuration by seeing the configuration. And so provider is basically what you're trying to configure. And so there's a special way to configure each provider. In this case, I'm using a publicly available Cisco DevNet APIC, which I'm gonna configure for this lab purposes. Next, we're going to create a tenant we're going to create an application profile, and we're going to create a few EPGs. And then in this particular section, there's a special for each command, which would allow me to create multiple EPGs. Each of these sections, the tenant, application profile, and the EPG is going to draw variables from the variables file. This is all built into Terraform, so you don't have to do anything special. Uh, so this is really a nice thing about Terraform, which it just really makes you and lets you, allows you to hit the ground running with your infrastructure as code. And so the variables that I'm going to pass into those resources are just these tenant name that I've defined, application profile name that I've defined, and the EPG names that I've defined. So we'll go ahead to the next step. Uh, when you download the Terraform files to a directory, in that directory, you want to go to that directory. So I have, you can name that directory whatever you want. This is the directory that I, that I happen to be in. And then uh, you want to type in Terraform init. And what this will do is it will download the plugins that Terraform needs to utilize and have a connection with ACI and know how to integrate with ACI, basically, in the back end. Next is Terraform Plan and Terraform Apply. Terraform Plan allows you to see what configuration will be applied before you apply it, okay? And so this 
output shows us that three EPGs would be created, an application profile would be created, and a tenant would be created. And it, it shows us that five objects would be created in total. Now we wanna go ahead and actually implement this configuration. Before we do that, we'll switch over to the APIC. Again, this is a publicly available APIC that you can reserve on Cisco, De Cisco DevNet website. So you can just Google that Cisco DevNet ACI sandbox and then follow the instructions to get your lab up and running. And so I'm ac accessing this APIC and I'm going to create a new tenant in here. So that tenant is defined in the variables file. Again, so, so this is a really nice thing. So now I can repeat this very easily. Create a tenant, create an application profile, create an EPG. Obviously in real world can scenarios, you would be creating many more objects, which you can do in exactly the same manner and repeat in exactly the same manner. And then with the EPG example, I have a list of EPGs. So you can follow a similar path to create multiple objects as well. So we're going to hit uh, type in Terraform apply. And before I hit enter, we can see that the tenant we're going to create doesn't currently exist, right? So now I'm going to hit Terraform apply. Whenever you do Terraform apply, it asks you to confirm. And so it's going to add five objects, the one tenant, one application profile, and three EPGs. So this is what we expect to see. So I'll hit yes, and I'll switch over to the APIC, and I can, you can actually watch it create those objects. So I'll go to the tenant, and it's just taking a second to load this uh, free APIC, virtual APIC can be a little slow sometimes. And all our, so our tenant, application profile, and EPGs have been created. Awesome. And what we can do is remove these as well, so just as easily. So Terraform, destroy. And now all these objects will get deleted. So if I go back to all tenants, oh, I have to enter yes here because it always asks you for confirmation. And then there we just saw it deleting that tenant. And then, you know, let's say I wanted to create another tenant. Um, we, I can just go ahead and do that very easily. And so, you know, I'll just change the name of the tenant and save this file and then hit Terraform apply again, enter yes. And we can go back to the APIC and watch Terraform do this configuration for us. So in exactly the similar manner, you can create create bridge domains, uh, you know, a layer three outs, uh, a, and all the other objects that you need to create. A contract associations, uh, you can do almost everything that you can normally do in ACI. And similar to the plugins that Terraform has for ACI, it also has plugins, which are actually called providers in Terraform terminology. Uh, it all also has providers available for multi-site orchestrator as well in case you're using that in your environment. So basically, this is an excellent tool to automate your ACI infrastructure as a code uh, configuration and, you know, basically have simple variable files in which you define what your tenant or the environment would look like and go ahead and configure them. And just for completion, we'll go ahead and destroy or remove this tenant as well. Destroy, 
enter is going to ask for confirmation and we'll hit yes so it's going to destroy five things and we can go back to the epic and we can see that that tenant is no longer there so if you want to learn in more detail about how Terraform works. There's lots of great Udemy videos um, and courses and even free ones on YouTube as well. And I will uh, provide a link to a couple that I used in my Terraform journey and uh, that I thought were particularly good and that I hope you also find useful. Thank you for watching.